Kuzu Zangpo and welcome to this uh, program. Well, many of uh, us might have used or are using what is uh, known as uh, when it comes to technology, which has uh, already been there, GPS, Global Positioning System in the country. But uh, in the recent times, uh, this year, a group has uh, come up with uh, what they call themselves a true GPS team who are advocating the use of uh, this uh, GPS system here in the country. And to discuss uh, further on this, I have here with me Ugen Doji, the founder of Druk GPS team, and also his uh, friend uh, Sonam Tobge, who is also co-founder of this uh, GPS, uh, Druk GPS team. Welcome to this uh, program. So I would like to start with uh, the founder, Ugen Doji. If you can tell us uh, about uh, your project or the thing that uh, you are doing this as uh, Druk uh, GPS team, what is it, uh, if you can tell <coughs> us? Well, uh, uh, we are basically COVID-affected uh, uh, people. Uh, uh, well, I'm civil engineer. So, uh, because of the pandemic, uh, I, I got a lot of free time. And then I thought I should do something. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the first lockdown, uh, I have started uh, uh, to research on GPS coordinate system. Over three months, I have been quite busy f on in the research, and then I felt that I needed a research team. Mm -hmm. So I requested my co-founder uh, to help me, and then two of us also required uh, people who are Desup and two guides. Uh, why Desup for such a rescue operation, and for two guides, uh, we need uh, a person who has experience in tracking. Uh, and for this reason, we selected the team, and uh, uh, the team is uh, gui guided by Mr. Sringi Dup. He's a teacher, mm. and Desup, and uh, we started this uh, project. And this project we took eight months, la. and uh, and to design the program, it took us three months, and we have uh, two training category. Uh, uh, one standard course, introduction to the GPS coordinate system, and other one is advanced in GPS coordinate system. So GPS basically uh, stands for Global Positioning System. Many, uh, many of us think that GPS is a tracker that is inserted in the car, mm -hmm. or some feel that it is a very complex nature. However, we, we, we do uh, GPS team, uh, is here to advocate that GPS can be used in a very simplest form and we have trained 80 tour guides mm -hmm. in four batches and that today 80 of our trainees are using the GPS just like any other social media platforms mm -hmm. and that is that is what it makes us uh, makes our project unique la. Okay, when you say you did uh, research on GPS uh, for the last eight months, so why do research? Because uh, GPS has already been there, people had been using, like uh, those who are like, in the field of military or even the construction, even used by army or navigation. So many people had been using GPS uh, in the world for last many years. So what has been your research on? What did you find? <coughs> well, uh well, I was actually inspired by one of my friend. Uh, he said, oh, you are using GPS coordinates in your construction projects. Mm -hmm. Why don't you advocate uh, on this? Uh, then I felt, uh, sir, you do not know. He said, no, no, I have no idea. Mm -hmm. Then I have been uh, sharing my thoughts and ideas with many. I did some survey. Uh, I even went to ex-CEO uh, of Dukia and did some presentation on the, uh, on the GPS coordinate system. Uh, they, they are aware of, I mean, they were aware of the GPS uh, system, but not coordinate system. Mm -hmm. So then I realized that it was a big thought. Yes, I think many of us still do not understand what is GPS coordinate system. So then, then we did more and more research, and then uh, today we are here. Okay, if uh, the co-founder Sonam Tobi can also share with us uh, from the research and also what were the findings as uh, he has mentioned. But 
Apart from what uh, already exists, uh, where can GPS be used uh, presently here in the country as you advocate, give training to people? Yes. Uh, first of all, good example to uh, the viewers. And uh, thank you, BBS, for having us here and giving us the opportunity. So we need, uh, when it comes to uh, GPS, you know, uh, I, I had a little bit of awareness before, mm -hmm. but uh, I was not aware about the complete uh, use of GPS, especially the coordinate system. So it was Mr. Ugen, the founder of our team. So he called me when I was in uh, border, uh, along the international border down there in Gelifula. Mm. So I was serving as a desup down there. So by profession, I'm a lawyer, but uh, I'm also a desup, so active mm. desup and a tour guide. So, mm. so due to this pandemic, uh, so we were having a lot of free time. So I was, you know, uh, passionate to serve my nation. So I went down there to Gelifu. So when I was down there, so I, I had no, I, uh, I, I had no awareness, uh, more awareness about GPS. So it was uh, later, the founder, uh, Mr. Ugen, he called me up, and then he said, like, you know, I've been, uh, I've been researching more on this uh, GPS system almost for three months, and then he called, and then he said, like, uh, why don't you help me with this? So I said, okay, fine. So after serving down there for four months, I, I immediately came back to Thimpu and then we started to res uh, do more research on this. And then later we realized that, you know, people have, uh, people do not have full awareness about the GPS system, how it, uh, how it can help in day-to-day -day activities, mm -hmm. like uh, giving locations, mm -hmm. not just the tracking device, mm -hmm. but giving locations, going to that place. Even for day soups, we felt it is very necessary for day soups because we go for, we go for like forest fire stimulation, we go for forest fire and everything. It's not just the fire it's uh, also about the wild animal and every anything mm -hmm. you know where you, you you can be a victim to towards the, the it was the animals so where you can give the distress signal so in the mountains it's very difficult uh, for us to give the location particular location so we thought like you know if we can use this gps uh, gps coordinate system uh, and then uh, and then you know it can be very beneficial to give locations the coordinate system of that particular place. So we felt it's very necessary. Okay. So this is how, you know, we have been working together for last uh, almost eight months now. Okay, when you say to give the location or if there's a distress call by yes, somebody sir. or even to look at your friends, yes, uh, family, but uh, do we need some kind of gadgets as we see the surveyors use uh, gadgets yes. to mark yes. their, to mark uh, land yes. and all? Yes. But what kind of gadgets uh, do we have uh, Yes. Or do we need to have uh, to use GPS personally? Uh, yes. Uh, thank you so much for this question. Uh, so if you have a gadget, it's well and good. But uh, uh, like I uh, like uh, our, our vision, our vision is, you know, keeping in line with his majesty's vision, whereby use of technology effectively and efficiently. So based on that, you know, uh, most of us today, I, I should not be saying every one of us, but most of us do have cell phones, like smartphones. We do have yes. smartphones. Mm -hmm. So smartphones do have applications. Any GPS can work. Like you can just need to download the applications uh, in our phone and then uh, a basic awareness should be needed. Like. So mm -hmm. after that, if you have a cell phone, you can just give your coordinates anywhere in the world. You can be anywhere in the world. You just need to, to send the coordinates mm -hmm. to relevant agencies where you work. If you, for me, I work in Desup uh, as a volunteer. So if there is a problem for, uh, during any kind of operation, I can give my coordinates to my superior or my gojila. Okay, Mr. Ugin can uh, tell us uh, about uh, more about this. Uh, when we say GPS uh, or the coordinates uh, you're talking about, uh, how relevant is this uh, for our <coughs> tour guides uh, since they are also free because uh, without uh, tourism here in the country, so you were giving this uh, training the use of GPS and coordinates to guides. Uh, what has been their response and how useful is this uh, for the guides? <coughs> uh, thank you, sir. Uh, well, uh, we have trained 80 tour guides so far. Mm. Uh, why we have uh, identified, uh, 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 identified tour guides as one of the important, uh, uh, <coughs> important people who is working in the tourism sector where, where Mostly the guides they they have to uh, uh, escort that uh, uh, international guest uh, to the, in the mountains, mm -hmm. and uh, our main uh, objectives here is for the safety and uh, security of our international guests. So then we felt that this is really important uh, for the tour guides to know at least how to uh, send, read, and generate the coordinates. Mm -hmm. 
So in the event or in the event of the disaster situations, uh, even to uh, there are cases where people have many of us, uh, uh, many of our friends uh, have used uh, used uh, the uh, to fire and to uh, uh, create a smoke to call the helicopters or to locate the mm. position. But now we do not have to do that. We can send uh, uh, GPS works in all weather conditions, okay. and uh, we can send send a distress signal using uh, uh, using uh, using these coordinates. Uh, it it can create uh, the B line between the uh, destination and origin mm -hmm. for the helicopter, so that uh, without uh, wasting much time uh, time uh, and s uh, we can uh, we can timely and safely uh, evacuate the, okay. uh, the the person who is injured. Okay, with this uh, we also know that uh, now people use smartphones uh, and you are saying the GPS uh, can be used in all condi weather conditions. Uh, but uh, still then, we it seems like uh, we need to have a good uh, network, mobile connectivity and also internet uh, for this. Uh, how, how is it uh, done? <coughs> well, uh, well for, uh, for the city dwellers, there is there isn't uh, much problem la. Mm. but uh, when especially when you are in the mountain in the forest where network coverage, coverage is not there but that time uh, this uh, distance uh, signal so G, as i said gps works in all weather conditions so we we, we just need to uh, we need to <coughs> get the signal from the satellite using the help of satellite we can get the signal mm. uh, into your device and then you can send la. Mm. since uh, Bhutan is almost 80% uh, uh, there is a network coverage and uh, 60 uh, 70 to 80 percent also uses a uh, smartphone okay. so uh, with uh, with this uh, with our technology uh, we can solve 70 percent of uh, Bhutan's uh, problem in this situ situation la. Okay, now talking about uh, the training or the course, uh, day-long course that you are giving to a group of uh, guides uh, these days. Uh, so what does uh, your training actually contain? How, what are some mm. of the things uh, you start with uh, in your course? Uh, mm. How have you designed your course? <coughs> well, uh, to design uh, this uh, uh, training uh, uh, in two categories. So category one is standard course. Uh, we have kept it uh, uh, introduction to the GPS coordinate system. So this in this content, uh, uh, in we we cover the concept behind the technology. La. So in, inside the content, uh, we uh, we actually have uh, uh, the time calculations because uh, the distance is calculated using the uh, using the distance formula, uh, the speed into time. Since the Earth's uh, speed is constant, mm -hmm. so f uh, we uh, we cover the uh, time calculation, longitude calculations, coordinate calculations, <coughs> uh, some GPS in G most of the GPS form uh, uh, GPS application. Uh, there, <coughs> uh, the format is in decimal degree, so we have to convert this into degree minus seconds, mm -hmm. and back to de uh, back to decimal degree from degree minus seconds because uh, these two conversions are very important. Uh, some of the app gives uh, DMS degree minute seconds. Some gives uh, decimal degree. Mm -hmm. So we need to know how to convert. And uh, and we also cover uh, uh, in an introductory course. We also cover some portion of uh, UTM Universal Traverse Marketer, uh, so that uh, some of the some of the uh, UTM coordinates uh, are being used in uh, in in other other countries. So we need to know uh, two basic things. Uh, so <coughs> this conversion also being taught, la. and uh, of all uh, our uh, our course uh, standard course is based on uh, this is based on activities activity based, la. Okay. So uh, where we have designed in uh, in such a way that uh, that uh, our trainees uh, they are always engaged and uh, and. Uh, for morning session, it's uh, activity ses uh, session, and then afternoon we have a, a, a practical session, okay. finding team A by team B. Okay. Likewise, we have done for specialized uh, or exclusive course, which is three to five days course. We have to travel in the forest where we can create route, we can trace route, uh, then we can use offline and both on Android and even uh, during the forest fire simulations. 
where uh, we can uh, allocate the team A, B, C, D using the uh, laptop, uh, considering ourselves as a base, and then we allocate team, uh, team not uh, you go from Lanjifaka or from uh, Tarigempa or from Lungtenpo, mm -hmm. but we can allocate team using coordinate system. Mm -hmm. Team A can also, during the forest fire, team A can also send the uh, send the uh, uh, coordinates of water pond where team B can uh, drink water. Uh, these are very important during the forest fire. La. Okay, if uh, Sonom Sar can also t tell us uh, about what has been the response uh, from those who uh, participated in the training that they saw or the guides, uh, what did they say about this? Uh? Thank you so much. La. Uh, when it comes to when it comes to guides, uh, first of all, I should be thanking the Cap Association of Bhutan, the Guide Association of mm -hmm. Bhutan, who gave us the platform to to imp uh, to implement our ideas. So based on that, we got good response. La. We got good response, and then you know, uh, at first, uh, uh, the guides they had a basic uh, few guides had basic ideas, and then few guides did not have any idea okay. about what we were what we were talking about and what we were training. So towards the end of the day, so uh, we got 100% satisfaction from all the guides and uh, we got good uh, response. And uh, when it comes to DESOPS, uh, uh, for now, uh, the DESOP training officers and uh, their deployment team, they felt it very necessary for them. So they have assured us that, uh, that we will be working more on giving more training towards DESOP at the same time. Okay, so far it is the DESUB and the guides and also presently you are training the group of uh, guides. Uh, but uh, had there been any such uh, training or knowledge uh, by institutions or like uh, the survey uh, foresters, uh, the use of GPS uh, generating or sending coordinates and so yes. on? What has uh, been the, your findings from your research or from the training you are giving? Uh, so when it comes to uh, other institutions who are actually giving this uh, training on GPS, uh, we have uh, we have uh, we have uh, come to know uh, know that uh, there are few uh, other agencies like uh, you know other agencies, especially in schools, they are actually teaching uh, about this GIS system and artificial intelligence and everything. But uh, at, at the same time, we, uh, it doesn't mean that we we uh, we are here just to to uh, to share our uh, to share about GPS and then spread awareness, you know, uh, for people who doesn't know, and then people who doesn't know people who are not aware about the technology. So we thought, like you know, uh, it is the right time that uh, during this pandemic, it is the right time that we should uh, we should uh, deliver this uh, awareness and then you know uh, fulfill the visions of His Majesty the King. Okay, okay, sir. Again. Are there any other uses, uh, usage of this uh, GPS uh, practical usage here in the like uh, urban areas, uh, for instance, uh, in Thimphu? Because uh, so far people have been co complaining about we don't have proper addresses uh, to locate uh, location or house or any addresses. We are you? Do you think uh, your GPS uh, this uh, training or your team can collaborate uh, with uh, our Trom there and tell them? This uh, GPS can be used uh, in finding places or locating a place. <coughs> uh, uh, before I get, come back to your question, I, I would like to say something about uh, route creations okay, using a uh, GPS coordinate system. So, uh, <coughs> suppose uh, if uh, if uh, Sir Ishe, you are going to Dungso, uh, the favorite place mm -hmm. of a Bhutanese, and uh, <coughs> suddenly there is a snowfall up okay. there in the mountain. And uh, you have to, <coughs> uh, 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 due to depression in Bay of Bengal, and you have to be back uh, at your home timely and safely. Why timely? Because before the dark, you have to be there. Why safely? You are in the mountain and you cannot see anything, so you might sleep. So uh, that time, uh, that time you can always call me uh, again. Uh, can you send me the Google K uh, KML file, which there is a route? you have already created. So then when I send it to you, then once you connect from origin to destination, this will run into uh, in offline mode. Likewise, likewise, uh, using coordinate system, we can do a lot. Uh, we are requesting, uh, we are going to, uh, with the, uh, with the, in collaboration with Guide Association of Bhutan, we are going to request uh, Tourism Council of Bhutan that give us a pilot project and we will, uh, we will uh, create a route uh, of Drukpatla from Paro to Thimpo. Mm -hmm. So, coordinate system can do many things. You can do your own survey, you can calculate the area of your own house uh, in, uh, to the scale, uh, approximately 95 to 90. We can, by sitting here, we can calculate the area of the lake. Uh, 
Mm. So using coordinate system and and uh, in this, uh, the uh, I recently read an article in the Kunsal. Maybe uh, I have uh, we have contact. We are trying to contact Timbu Tomdela. Okay. So since uh, he being uh, uh, from the engineering background, uh, he might uh, welcome our idea. And we are we are going to not only uh, give the city address. We want to mark the every uh, building in coordinate system, and uh, so that anybody our idea. Uh, basically, our, uh, uh, we have simplified uh, GPS coordinate system, which was uh, very complex nature, in so much so that even the illiterate can learn within five minutes. So we can maybe Druk GPS can assist uh, Tomde in uh, giving uh, a coordinate system to mark the address, so that anybody can punch and reach the destinations. Okay, you just uh, mentioned illiterate uh, because uh, using a smartphone mean, means uh, we somebody has to know how to read uh, coordinates and so how can our uh, illiterate uh, user uh, take advantage of this technology well uh, just about a uh, few minutes ago i've explained that uh, uh, this uh, 80 of our trainees they are using uh, our uh, uh, our ideas just like uh, wechat okay. so uh, this uh, in bhutan wechat is quite famous for our bhutanese uh, population within the bhutanese population so as long as you know how to use WeChat, our GPS is just like WeChat. Okay. So it's uh, illiterate or those uh, who cannot read and write can also use? Yes. La. So actually our, our aims and objective is to impart uh, the ideas to all the British citizens uh, so, that, so that we can save time, uh, resources and uh, lives. La. Uh, just uh, if I cite one example. La. Uh, uh, in 2020, uh, our His Majesty has spent a lot of hard currency to track uh, one woman from in the Middle East. Okay. And uh, the woman has sent uh, the distress signal using social media, Facebook. Mm -hmm. Had she known our ideas, then uh, without wasting uh, such and excuse uh, uh, resources and time, we would have timely and safely uh, evacuated the woman. Okay. Uh, and likewise, there were almost hundreds of our Putinist women uh, who were trafficked in the Middle East. Uh, <coughs> uh, they would have uh, uh, would not have uh, had this problem. La. And uh, we have uh, approached uh, we have approached uh, Labour Ministry uh, to share our ideas. La. Okay, when we say about uh, saving resources, uh, but uh, to form this team to do research and on what kind of. Uh, support uh, from anywhere else uh, from the government or from anyone we need a lot of fund i guess uh, so from where did you get or where are <coughs> you getting support uh, our project is supported by women la. Uh, one woman uh, who, okay. who has always been with the team la. Uh, uh, madam karma young zom of kiang enterprise she uh, she uh, supported us with uh, uh, New Gultram, uh, 300,000, mm -hmm. and Kimbo Chetan uh, of, uh, of uh, Session Monastery in France also supported with uh, 50,000. And likewise, likewise, uh, <coughs> we are being supported by uh, 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 the Little Fund, uh, supported by many others like uh, Dashu, uh, like Gupsam Dupa and all, we ha uh, they have supported us. So, but uh, we are uh, generating a uh, few more thousand, uh, 100,000, we are on a mission to go to 20 Songkhak okay. to, to train 20 to 25 desups. Uh, uh, then so that, so that we can, uh, through network, our program can be imparted uh, desup, uh, to all the desups of Bhutan. Uh, this will be the gift uh, to our beloved His Majesty uh, for tirelessly uh, working towards fighting, fight against the COVID-19 to safeguard and protect every one of us and uh, we are the kidu recipient and we have uh, utilized this uh, kidu money mm -hmm. uh, to in this research la. and likewise uh, we are generating fund uh, by going department to department we are just charging a nominal fee we will uh, train the uh, train their staff uh, the department staff like Bhutan telecom has agreed Bhutan narcotic has agreed uh, to uh, as, uh, to uh, <coughs> to support our ideas, one day training we are charging New Gultram 20,000 yes. uh, 20, to sustain ourselves. The surplus money we want to use this to go uh, entire nation 
to advocate on GPS coordinate system. La. Likewise, we will come to education. La. We have trained five teachers la, so far, okay. one trainee and uh, three geography teacher and one uh, Zonghua teacher. La. So total, uh, total we have trained uh, five teachers la, uh, so that these five teachers can impart the ideas uh, with the Ministry of Education. La. Okay, if uh, Sonom has uh, anything to close this uh, program. First of all, uh, thank you once again for giving us the opportunity. I should be very thankful because this is, uh, this is one of the platforms where we can share and we can share and then spread the awareness about the use of uh, the technology, not just the GPS, but there are multiple technologies uh, when it comes to, to, to cell phones. So when you have the cell phones in your hand, not just not just WeChat and WhatsApp and everything, but in terms we have to use uh, the technology uh, properly uh, and efficiently. Uh, because our country is very small. Our country is very small and we have very limited resources. So we should not be wasting a lot of, uh, uh, lot of you know, uh, amount uh, investing in the other, other resources, whereby which is available, we should be using it properly. And then, and then we hope that, uh, that we will be successful by implementing our ideas to almost all the guides. Uh, this is where we are targeting almost, uh, 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 almost all the tour, uh, tour guides and then at the same time to all the uh, all the the disups at the same time other agencies where we have where we have uh, uh, promised ourselves that uh, that we will be implementing uh, to them like uh, Bhutan Nanavi Foundation and then the Shungda Sang that we will be targeting because we do not want uh, we do not want to neglect them at the same time so we we will make sure that uh, uh, each and every one of them also knows about how to use the the technology effectively uh, effectively and efficiently. So on this, uh, thank you so much for giving us the opportunity. Uh, sir, I would like to thank uh, Ugen Doji, the founder of uh, Truka GPS team, and also co-founder Sonam Tobge for your time and sharing with us uh, what uh, this uh, GPS uh, team, Truka GPS uh, team is all about. And I hope uh, there will be interest uh, from the business uh, to use this uh, technology, like you said, uh, efficiently and also to the best uh, to save our resources, uh, save time and also to enhance or develop the use of digital technology here in the country. And thank you for watching this program.